Welcome back. Herman is such a beautiful little town. Didn't you just love it? So quaint. So quaint. We had a ball there, and one of our favorite things to do was to go shopping. Take a look. We're always on the lookout for buried treasure, little antiques, and special finds. That's right. And here in Herman, Missouri, there's such history, Jeremy, mm -hmm. and it is the most adorable little place. Kelly, let's go shopping. Let's do. Kelly, I love the Vine Boutique. Would you look at this? It's so pretty. This looks just like you, Jeremy. You know what? This would look great. I have a new covered front porch, uh -huh. and it's screaming for a bench, <gasps> oh. and year-round 4th of July decor, because you know I love patri patriotic items. There's nothing items. wrong with that all year long. I love it. I want everything love here. Love it, Jeremy. Hey, what? come over here. They got lots of ladies' clothing, oh my and gosh. this is the latest style. Look at this, and they've got the shoes to what match. What do you even call this? Like a romper? It's, it's like a, yes, a romper. A romper. And... <gasps> Lake hair, don't yes, care. I love it. Oh, wait, Kelly, look at this. Look at this right oh, here. Oh, that's these, really These cool. blue chairs, you know I've been renovating my house, you and this what? matches perfectly. This looks just like you. It really does. It kind it's of has an like, old style. But with a modern take. I like it. And look at all look the... Look at this, Kel. Look at this. But I still love the blue. Blue? I'm going with blue or mustard. Speaking of blue, uh, there's what? another culotte I want you to see. <laughs> it's blue I'm right over here. Them. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this it is kind of 70s. It's back it's, here. It's very fast. I never I left. It. Me too. It's Charlie's Angels. Oh, my gosh. They really do have everything here. Would you look at this from candles to decor items? It's that contemporary farmhouse look that is so popular. It is so popular. Look, they've even got jewelry for the ladies, cutoffs, and even a kid's section. Okay, Kelly, I need to stop talking to you because I need to shop. Yeah, leave me alone. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's synchronize our watches. I'll meet back here in 30 minutes. No, no, 45. Okay, I'll see you in an hour. See ya. We're at Antiques Unlimited, one of three stores. Yeah, that's right. Plus, home of Ye Old Fire Company. This is Bruce. He is the owner of all these stores and the mayor of the town. Hi, Mr. Bruce. Mr. Mayor. Hi, how are you? Your Honor. We are great. Um, first of all, let's just tell the folks why you're so into the fire theme. I'm a retired firefighter, career firefighter, still a volunteer here in town. I started when I was 14 years old. I've been collecting for 50 years, and uh, the passion, I have to sell some things to kind of feed my habit, I guess you might say. But we, uh, we have one side of the shop here for sale, the other side, and the landing is our collection to look at. Mm -hmm. So we, and there's no charge for anybody to come in and just look at the uh, collection, ask questions, and I'm always happy to, to help anybody out that has a question about firefighting. Well, Bruce, you have Antiques Unlimited 1, 2, and 3. Tell us about the other locations and how they're different. Okay, well, this, this store here, Yeo Fire Company, is 100% firefighting memorabilia. Antiques Unlimited 2 is on 1st Street to 205 1st Street, and it's a multi-dealer antique mall where we rent space out. So we have several, several different dealers with a varied uh, type of merchandise from furniture, crocs, jewelry, so forth. And then in September of last year, we uh, opened up a new Antiques Unlimited 3 on Market Street, and it's the same concept. We rent space out to other dealers, and so there's a wide variety of type of merchandise from nice furniture, again, jewelry, crockery, primitives, you name it. And then we also have an auction house there now, too, that we have an auction every other Thursday night. Also, speaking of firefighters, you also have a museum at your firehouse because you're all volunteers? Right. Herman Fire Company is a volunteer department. We're not tax supported. We do a lot of fundraisers, and the community really supports us. We're very fortunate to have all of our original equipment, our hand-pulled pumpers and so forth. The unfortunate situation is we're volunteer and nobody's at the firehouse. So if anybody wants to view the museum, my name and phone number is on the tourism city tourism webpage and uh, they can contact me and make an appointment and I'm always happy to to go down and show it off. I like talking about firefighting. Of course and when he's not there he's here at home of the Ye old fire company. Yes. Thank you so much. Hey Bruce guess what though we've been walking around Herman a little bit we have more treasures to find yeah, more antiques to scope mm -hmm. and I gotta buy a bigger car to haul it back to Springfield. <laughs> so Kelly let's go. Okay. okay. All right. Bye Bruce. Bye. Bye. 
Jeremy, now we're at Missouri's Trading Post where lots of local artists have things and different vendors. I want one of everything, Kelly. I'm not You've kidding you. You've already found some things. I've I already know. seen a million because you know I love decor. And like, I love these sweet little signs. It's so sweet. I know. You've got your eye on a few. That would look great in my laundry room, by the okay. way. Oh my gosh, look at all this jewelry. Oh man, if, uh, this is really quality. All this is gorgeous. I can see you wearing all of that. Just I saying. I need more time. I know. I need more time. Oh my gosh, the artwork is amazing. Check this out. Isn't this gorgeous? All the beautiful flowers. I don't know how they do this. Kelly, I had no idea there were so many hidden treasures in Herman, Missouri. Like this I is secret. I'm this is have the to best come secret. And spend more time. Honestly. Who knew? <gasps> so look at this. And look at this sourdough bread. I love this. And. Going postal on the lake. There's some fudge for you right there. Spoon loving fudge. I love this. And honeys and teas and frosés and hot sauce. And oh my gosh, more decor. I'm in oh heaven. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. Wait, and it loops around. <gasps> Kelly, what do you think about the chandelier over my dining room table? I just found, I haven't seen that. That it's is perfect. unique. It looks like jade. I think that is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Check out, this is a full of amazing things and you're support, supporting like local people Absolutely. who are craftsmen and I love in Herman. leather. Look okay, this. Kelly, now that we spent an hour at the last place, we need to spend like three or four here, right? Yes! Okay. It's going to take that long. I'm heading over here. I'm going to start with the jewelry. Okay. Bye. I have had the best day shopping today. I have too, but Jeremy, you've outdone yourself here. I, I think this is the first time I've ever out shopped you. I think so. I needed more time. Well, that's the thing is you need more time to experience Herman that's because right. there's so much to do and see and eat and shop. It's, there's something for everyone. That's right. So much history. It's wine country and so much more. Wait, Kelly, I actually see more right over there. We didn't go there. Wait. <gasps> I want to go back. Me too. I want to go back when it's cooler mm -hmm. and it's like fall themed and the leaves are turning. You know what too? We didn't have a lot of time to shop because now looking back at that, there were so many things I wish I would have bought. I seriously would have if we had had time. Oh, I know. Just, I know. We had a lot to do that day. Make sure you go to visitherman.com mm -hmm. to check out everything. And look, it always says, Welcome and bienvenue. I Welcome. love that. Yes. It's so much fun. And I want to go back. I want to do like... We stayed at a beautiful place, which you know you'll see. And but there's so many great places to stay. There really are. I love local restaurants. Oh yes. I love the we, winery. We enjoyed some of. We enjoyed all of that. The winery was so great to. to yeah, I want to take my time. Yeah. yeah. Taking your time and just enjoying Herman. And everybody was so nice. Everybody was so nice. The Katy Trail is there if you want to get outdoors and enjoy that on bike or on foot. And you know it, it had that. To me, it had that small town feel where everybody knows everybody. I think they do. And you, like, you're walking down the street, and like, hey there, Richard. Hey yeah. there, you Greg. Know, it's hey, the kind of place Donna. Where if you're from there, sometimes you move away, but then you come back because mm -hmm. it's where you want to live. It's right. Why would you want to leave? Why would you want to leave? It's a, oh, it's so beautiful. If you've not been there, it is such a quick little drive up to Herman. Do a staycation, a long weekend, a week. They have a beautiful Oktoberfest uh, coming up. So visit Herman.com for all the information, every place that we visited. And Herman is wine country and so, so much, much more. Fun. Don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM right after this. Yeah. I saw like several chandeliers. Oh, I know. Pieces. I want I know. It. Something for your wall. I caught. Oh.